First and foremost, I want to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, is the true name of who they call Jesus Christ ignorantly. Um, you know what I'm saying? Just to uh, give a little fact history about how did our women, you know what I'm saying, come along to wearing pants, you know what I'm saying, doing stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to jump into it. So it says, Amelia Bloomer. So if you don't know, this would be a, a white woman, Esau, a Edomite, didn't mean to start a fashion revolution, but her name became synonymous with trousers. So we pretty much already know what trousers is. Trousers are pants. So it says in, in the 1850s, women's rights activists briefly adopted a new style in an effort to liberate themselves from heavy dresses. So this woman, you know what I'm saying, wanted to wear pants. You know, this is where, you know what I'm saying, our people, our women get the custom of wearing pants. You know what I'm saying? The Bible, I'm gonna get into that too, says, Envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. So when our women wanna willfully wear pants and go against the laws of God, you know what I'm saying, we're choosing to always follow it. And that's the point about our people. We always chose to live just like our oppressor. When we was in Persian and Medes, we wanted to live like them. When we was under the Greeks, we wanted to live like them. When we was living like the Babylonians, we was living like them. When we was living um, uh, in the Sub-Saharan slave trade, we was um, choosing to be like an Arab, you know, a so-called Muslim today. You know, I mean, not so-called, I mean, the Muslims today, but it says in mid 1800s, America, America, where did our people learn this from? America, everyone agreed women's clothing posed a problem. But in the laws of God, God says it's not a problem. America does everything that's backwards from God that dictates a modesty. It dictates God's law where God says dress modest, you know? So let me keep going. It says call for floor length dresses. And fashion demand a full skirt beneath a tiny waist. As a result, middle and upper class American women, American women, squeeze themselves into corsets and six to eight petticoats to fill out the shape of their skirts. The result weighed up to 15 pounds, placed enormous pressure on their hips and made movement a struggle. So this is the oppressor, you know, you know what I'm saying, going against the laws of God. Because the laws of God says there's nothing wrong with a woman wearing uh, pants. You know, that is a learned behavior. It says women complain of overheating and impaired breathing, sweeping along filthy streets and tripping over stairs, crushed organs from well bone stays and lace corsets, getting caught in factory machinery. So these women, you know, so I'm just going to make a long story short. Get this from the oppressor. Amelia Bloomer is the reason why our women wear pants because of the feminist movement. Our women in the slave field wore dresses. Our women before they came to America wore dresses. No woman before coming to America that was a black, Hispanic, and Native American wore pants. That is a learned behavior. God never said that you can wear pants. Deuteronomy 22 and 5, it says, The woman, this is a law to the woman, the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. The oppressor told you that wearing trousers is okay. God says it's not okay. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all, God didn't say just because one person, for all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. That's something God hates. So this is um, Proverbs 3, verse 31. Envy thou not the oppressor. God says, don't envy what the oppressor is doing. Be set apart. Be different what I called you to be. And choose none of his ways. God says, don't follow after the ways of the heathen. According to Jeremiah chapter 10. That's why I say, man, we got to repent. We got to stop. We got to actually choose, guess what, to follow God, like it says in Acts chapter 5, verse 29. We ought to obey God rather than men. Don't believe me. Don't even believe what I'm reading. 
Go in the Bible for yourself and see what God says. And you're going to see that, guess what? The Most High God is right in all things, all praises. So this is another one, Leviticus 13 and 30. Then the priests shall see the plague, and behold, if it be in sight deeper than the skin, and there be in it a yellow thin hair, then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. It is a dry scowl, even a leprosy upon the head or beard. So guess what? You cannot wear yellow wigs. So when you seeing our sisters, um, viewer discretion advice, you know, um, when you seeing black women wear blonde wigs, that's envying the oppressor. You know, these are beautiful sisters. I'm not even gonna lie, these are beautiful sisters. These are these are guys, these are God's chosen all um, people. But guess what? They're being led astray because like it says in Habakkuk that the law is slack. These women don't know that they guess what? That they have to guess what? They can't wear pants because that was started in 1850 by Amelia Bloomer. These women don't know that, guess what? They can't wear yellow wigs because that's not their hair because they're choosing the oppressor's ways. That's why, guess what? Women are supposed to be teaching other women. Let's get that. Because our women that are in the truth are supposed to be an example for these women that don't know the truth. Let's get that. It says... Titus 2 verse 3, the aged woman, the aged woman in this truth, likewise that they be in behavior as becometh holiness, not false accusers, not given too much wine, teachers of good things. So these women don't burn in the lake of fire. That these women, Lord willing, repent and actually come back to the law of statutes commandments. That's why I say viewers discretion advice because we know that Babylon teaches our women that they can dress like that. But the Bible says they they not supposed to be dressing like that. Let's get the next verse that they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children, to be discreet, chaste, keepers at home, not running the streets, not in everybody's face, to be discreet, chaste, keepers at home, good obedient to their own husbands that the word of God be not blasphemy because the word of God is being blasphemed in the last days. Why? Because the law is slack. Why? Because we don't want to follow God. We want to follow the oppressor. Well, if you follow the oppressor, you're going to be in the lake of fire. Because let's get it. Revelation 14 and um, 12. You got to be keeping the commandments. If you're not keeping the commandments, you're not going to make it. You can have faith all day, but if it don't got work, so keeping the commandments, what does it mean? Nothing. Revelation 14 and 12. Here's the patience of the saints, the Israelites. Here are they that keep the commandments of God, Yahweh, and the faith of Jesus, Yahweh Shai. So, giving all glory and honor always to Yahweh by Shim Yahweh Shai. I hope this is edifying. Uh, call me Israel.